Hi, this is Frank Trenholm with Coldwell Banker and our channel Living in Panama City Beach. Today we're with Ida Torres. She's a local artist here in Panama City. And we just want to feature her and show you a couple of her works and have Ida talk a little bit about her paintings. <laughs> Ida? Thank you. Um, hi, I'm Ida. Um, Ida. Yeah, I'm a local artist here in Panama City. Um, I've been here most of my life. I'm basically from here. Um, and I've been doing art for as long as I could remember, really. Um, I started getting into portrait art when I was in like middle school, I want to say. <laughs> I was very young and um, I just you know, started drawing my friends and wanting to wanting it to look like them and wanting it to be recognizable. And that just kind of, I just kept building on that. Basically, I started branching off to like, celebrities and or just like music artists that I like. And so um, that's kind of what got me into my most recent series, which is what this is from. Um, what is this a little bit? Tell us a little bit about this. Work. So this is um, Jennifer Connelly from the movie the Labyrinth uh, with David Bowie. I love David Bowie. And this is um, one of the scenes where, well, it's kind of, okay, so this movie is about this Goblin King played by David Bowie who captures her little brother and like takes him through the labyrinth and she has to go through the labyrinth to rescue her brother. And in this scene, she is distracted and she's getting slowed down so that she doesn't get to her brother. Um, she takes a bite of this peach that makes her hallucinate and stuff. And she's in this beautiful gown and she's at a ball and it's a masquerade and everybody has a mask except for her and the Goblin King. And he's just like dancing and basically distracting her. Oh, the sky within your eyes. And it's a beautiful scene and she's in um, like this bubble. And at the end of the scene, the bubble shatters and she like comes back to reality. But um, that's what all the bubbles are. And it's just like dreamy look that she's got going on. And this, I don't know, I just love this scene. I love this movie. So <laughs> that's what brought me to paint that. This was the first painting that I did of that series. And um, I don't know, I was just like feeling it so much. I ended up doing more and more portraits. And that's what created that, that series that I did of um, different movies and people from those movies. Interest in like, realism and portrait art kind of turned into this interest in like pop art and references to movies that I grew up liking and um, that's kind of like what this is and what created that series of paintings that I did. I had an exhibit recently at the Art Center in downtown, um, the Center for the Arts, and it had all these portraits that I did um, referencing movies that I like like there was, there's this one from the labyrinth. I also had, um, I called it multi-pass, multi but it was the girl, um, Lilu from the movie, uh, the fifth, um, element and she's holding up the multi-pass thing. And, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I really like that one. And I, I really, another thing about my portrait, like my, my pop art or my pop references, um, I like the colors, like the different um, like vibrant colors or like primary colors. I like to use those a lot in my, and like pick one color to focus on the portraits. Um, like this one isn't really so much like that, but like the one with Lilu is orange. And then I have one from uh, Friday. It's got Smokey and he's like, it's just blue. I try to pick one color for like each one. I had David Bowie. Uh, it isn't really like a movie, but um, <laughs> it was green. And, um, but yeah, I had different ones like that. And uh yeah, I guess I just got into the different primary colors and the uh, movie references, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so this, this was from another series of paintings that I did a, just a couple years ago. Um, I did an art show with a friend at um, the venue right next to Trigo's in downtown. Um, but I had a bunch of paintings like this where it was also like vibrant colors um, and a lot of like drippy different colors and stuff. Um, for a little bit, I kind of got into this like, I, I called it slime. It was just like drippy slime stuff. Like I was working in a screen printing shop at the time and um, I was coating the screens with this emulsion, which is what we use to basically like burn the image into the screen that's going to go onto the shirt. But I would, it's just like this green slime that I would cover it. And I just thought it was so interesting. Like it just looked so fun. Like it just like slimy and it was kind of like the Nickelodeon slime. And I don't know, that really inspired me to do a lot of like drippy paintings like this. And so 
Um, this is like one of the bigger pieces from that series. Um, and I was also really into like, kind of weirdly enough, like Roman, like, <laughs> like Greek type architecture and stuff and statues and things like that. So I really wanted to get more into that and like kind of incorporate like different colors into that. So um, that's kind of like what this was. <laughs> okay, so you had a little background on Ida. Uh, please check the link below for her information and her contact. And please subscribe to our channel. Do you have anything to add before we go? Um, yeah, if you're looking for any um, portrait artwork or just like local artwork, I have plenty of other pieces that I didn't show here today. Um, or if you, you know, want something of your family done, I'd be happy to do that for you. Okay, so this is Living in Panama City Beach. Until next time, uh, we'll talk again. Thank you.